evaluate factorial 8 and 4 factorial minus 3 factorial. Let us see the solution for each section one by one. In our first section we have to find the value of factorial 8. Well we know that factorial 8 is nothing but the product of first 8 natural numbers. That is here we can say that factorial 8 is equal to 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. And when we multiply these numbers we get 40,320. Hence we can say that the value of factorial 8 is equal to 40,320. 20. This completes our solution and in our second section we have to find the value of factorial 4 minus 3 factorial. Well first let us find the value of factorial 4 and factorial 3 separately. We know that factorial 4 can be written as 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 and factorial 3 can be written as 3 into 2 into 1. 3 into 2 into 1 is 6. 4 3 is a 12, 12 2 is a 24. So substituting the values of factorial 4 and factorial 3 here we have 24 minus 6. This is equal to 18. Hence we can say that factorial 4 minus factorial 3 is equal to 18. This completes our solution. Let us see the next problem. Is 3 factorial plus 4 factorial equal to 7 factorial? Well to solve this problem we'll have to simplify the left hand side and right hand side separately. So here on the left hand side we are given 3 factorial plus 4 factorial whereas on the right hand side we have 7 factorial. We know that factorial 7 is nothing but the product of first 7 natural numbers that is 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 and when you multiply these numbers you will get 5040. So we have factorial 7 equal to 5040. And now on the left hand side we know that factorial 3 is equal to 3 into 2 into 1 and factorial 4 is equal to 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. This is equal to 3 to the 6, 6 1 is a 6 plus 4 3 is a 12, 12 2 is a 24 and when you add these two numbers you will get 30. Clearly we can see that 30 is not equal to 5040. Hence we can say that LHS is not equal to RHS. Therefore 3 factorial plus 4 factorial is not equal to 7 factorial. So this completes our solution. Let us see the next problem. Compute factorial 8 over 6 factorial into 2 factorial. Here we have to find the value of factorial 8 over 6 factorial into 2 factorial. Well we can write factorial 8 as 8 into 7 into 6 factorial and keeping 6 factorial in the denominator as such and factorial 2 is nothing but 2 itself. Now we can cancel factorial 6 from the numerator and denominator so we are left with 8 into 7 over 2, 2 1s are 2 and 2 4s are 8. So we have 7 4 is a 28. Hence we can say that the value of factorial 8 over factorial 6 into factorial 2 is nothing but 28. This completes our solution. Let us see the next problem. If 1 over 6 factorial plus 1 over 7 factorial is equal to x upon 8 factorial, find x. Here we are given that 1 upon 6 factorial plus 1 upon 7 factorial is equal to x upon 8 factorial and with this information we are required to find the value of x. Let us see the solution. 1 upon 6 factorial plus 1 upon here we can write 7 factorial as 7 into 6 factorial and on the right hand side x upon 8 factorial can be written as 8 into 7 into 6 factorial. Now taking 1 upon 6 factorial common on the left hand side we have 1 plus 1 over 7 equals to x over 8 into 7 into 6 factorial. Well now we can cancel factorial 6 from both the sides so here we have 1 plus 1 upon 7 equals to x upon 8 into 7. Taking 7 as LCM on the left hand side here we have 7 plus 1 equals to x over 
8 into 7 this implies that 7 plus 1 is 8 over 7 equals to x upon 8 into 7 now we can cancel 7 on both the side so we are left with x is equal to 8 into 8 that is 64 hence we can say that x is equal to 64 this completes our solution let us see the next problem evaluate factorial n upon n minus r factorial when n is equal to 6 and r is equal to 2. Here we are given that in the first section n is equal to 6 and r is equal to 2 and we have to find the value of factorial n over n minus r factorial. So substituting the values of n and r here we have 6 factorial over 6 minus 2 factorial this gives us 6 factorial over 6 minus 2 is 4 factorial well now we can write factorial 6 as 6 into 5 into 4 factorial and keeping 4 factorial as such in the denominator here we can cancel factorial 4 both from numerator and denominator so we are left with 6 into 5 that is 30 hence we can say that the value of factorial n over n minus r factorial when n is equal to 6 and r is equal to 2 is 30 in the second section we are given n is equal to 9 and r is equal to 5 and we have to find the value of factorial n over n minus r factorial here substituting the values of n and r we have 9 factorial over 9 minus 5 factorial this is equal to 9 factorial over 9 minus 5 is 4 factorial and now we can write factorial 9 as 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 into factorial 4 keeping factorial 4 as such in the denominator here we can cancel factorial 4 from the numerator and denominator so we are left with 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 and when we multiply these numbers we will get 15,120 hence we can say that the value of factorial n over n minus r factorial when n is equal to 9 and r is equal to 5 is 15,120 this completes our solution let us see the next problem